Hey guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. I really hope you're having as much fun watching this as I am playing it because it's an awesome game. Here is the M4, the EV06 M4. We are heading to our next location for our next race. I want to like pimp up my car. I want to upgrade it. I want to put like horrible garish colors on it. Or maybe nice colors. Maybe nice colors. Maybe getting it wrapped all white with like big huge black rims. I think it will look pretty sweet with huge rims. But for now, we are just like tearing up the countryside apparently, heading to our next location. So the idea of the Horizon Festival is we want to expand this festival to be, oops, we want it to be as big and awesome as it can be, but the way that we do that is to have fans. So we need to add some more fans to the Horizon Festival whilst enjoying the beautiful scenery of Australia. These are hazardous locations our scouts have identified and cordoned off for your safety. Or so you can easily find the best and craziest stunt jumps in the country. Okay guys, you know what we have to do! You know what we have to do! Woo! Your destination. My destination is in the sky! Oh! Still alive, boss? Excellent. Look at that! We just went all the way over there. That is pretty awesome. That's very, um, GTA. That's very GTA. I like that. We just earned 3,000 fans for that. And honestly, I'm not surprised because we totally should have got more fans. That was awesome. We threw ourselves off a cliff just to get fans. That's how dedicated to the cause we are, guys. We are the Horizon boss. So we own the festival, which means we're the ones that have to do all the hard work. We've got to recruit new drivers who think they're as good as me, but they're not. And we've got to add more fans. We've got to choose the music. We have to do everything. We designed this festival from the ground up we're making it awesome. That's the story anyway. What this story actually is, is I smash into as many trees as I can and destroy my car. Although right now it looks quite good. <gasps> Where's that registration plate gone? Where's EV06 gone? We've lost our reg somehow. Probably by doing stuff like that. Okay, there's a sharp corner over here. We're gonna try a handbrake turn, guys. Handbrake turn. No! Don't mess up our handbrake turn! Okay, we still got this, we still got this, guys. <gasps> Vivi is still in here. She is right here. You may or may not be able to hear her snoring. I could before I turn the game on, but with the microphone, uh, with the headphones on, I can't hear her anymore. Oh, it's night time. It's a night time festival. But she is a loud snorer. She is a loud, loud, loud snorer. She's also wet because I gave her a little bath. She sometimes gets itchy skin. I don't really know what's causing it. I've got her a little appointment booked in. Uh, so we're going to find out what the issue is. Um, but in the meantime, I find that if I bath her a little bit more frequently than I usually would, um, then it seems to help. She seems to stop itching so much. And that's also why she wears PJs on a night. I know you all think I'm crazy, because I dress my dog up all the time. And I am. But aside from that, the PJs do have a reason. If we give her PJs, then she sleeps in those, and she won't wake up the night and start itching herself, and do any damage to her skin, so... It's a win-win. Also, because she sleeps in the same bed as us, <laughs> no, we are literally those dog parents, um, it stops her waking us up itching as well. So it's got a double bonus. Double bonus. Oh man. Oh, I think I, I think I was meant to go off road there. So this is our first night race of the game. Oh, it's not quite night. It's kind of dusk. It's kind of dusk. And it, again, it's so pretty because if anything, I think cars get prettier on a night because their headlights look so cool. Ali's A1 is a really good example of that because his headlights are actually awesome. I'm so jealous of them. I prefer the size of my A-Class because his, his A1 is a little bit too small for me. Um, but his headlights look so much better than mine because his are like the proper full-on like... Is it Neon? No. What's the name for them? Oh my gosh, I can't remember what they're called. That was, that was because I couldn't remember what the headlights are called. Xenon. There we go. Okay. This time we won't crash into a tree because we remembered that they were called Xenon headlights. So yeah, he's just got Xenon headlights and mine doesn't. Which is kind of sucky and I actually thought when I ordered them that it did, so... The one... Oh yeah! We finished the race! Look at that! I was too busy telling you stories! I didn't realise that we just smashed that race. We came a whole almost two seconds ahead of the next person. Which in racing terms, I feel is a lot. So I'm very proud of myself there. <gasps> oh! Ooh, I can spin, I can spin, I can spin. Even win limited horizon edition cars. I should have pressed it. Oh, look at that. VIP times two. Why do we get that? 
Because we earned the festival? I hey, forgot Byron. that it does that when you level up. Yay! We smashed our fans! No! We didn't do that! We did not do that! We, sm we smashed our fun uh, target. We smashed our fun target. Get down here, boss. We're bursting at the seams. <gasps> I'm on my way. What's she called? Felicia? I'm coming, Felicia. <laughs> she's called Felicia. Eliza? I think she's called Felicia. Anyway. Bye, Felicia. We're on our way. Oh, let's see. I tell you what, since we've already started to drive this way, let's just continue. Let's see what there is. We are going to take the countryside route. Okay. Okay. Look at the car, look at her expression! She's just like... Turn left. I'm a Horizon Festival boss. I'm a professional racing driver, professional racing driver. And I've got this utter Egypt at the helm. What is she doing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Recalculating route because now we have to go by the bog. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I am happy with my decision. Oh, look, we're at the Horizon Festival. Yay! Wait, where's all my adoring fans? Oh man, we need to we need some more of those guys. There's not enough right now. Let's expand our festival. Oh look, there's a little workman and woman. Let's be inclusive. Hey! Look, whenever it does that, I get food bumps. I love those, like, cut things. Yes, let's stay in Australia. I want to move to Australia. Where in Australia is good to live? Because I want to move there. Can I, can I change my car? What have you worked so far, boss? Kira said I should get you set up with another car for this next set of races. Oh! So I need a 4x4 four four type car. BMW X6M. Need the M on there to make it sick. Jeep Grand Cherokee, a Lamborghini Urus, a Range Rover Supercharged. Man, that's actually quite hard. Let's have a look at the stats. That one's got good launch, good acceleration. Same, same. That one's also good at braking. I think we have to pick this because I'm not very good at braking. <laughs> Okay, we're getting this one, we're getting this one. So we can pick a paint job for our car. How sweet is that? Which one shall we pick? That one's got a kangaroo on it. I do like animals. Red Bull. You know what though? I I like this one because it's got orange in it. It's also got a kangaroo and I work for Xbox. So I have to pick this one. I have to pick this one. We're going to go for this sweet, awesome yellow one. Orange one. How cool does that look? Do you want to choose this car? Yes, I do. Look at it. Who would not choose that? It looks awesome. And it's got good handling, which is good if you're in Egypt. Mm. All right, so this is your new car. You can just stay here and admire her beauty. It looks a lot like the um, Porsche, Porsche Cayenne. Is it a Porsche Cayenne? I think it looks a lot like a Porsche Cayenne. Ooh, we can customize it. That's all we can customize for now. That's fine. Just buy it. It's fine. I'm the festival manager. I'm making bank. Let's throw it on there. It's cool. So there we go, it's even meaner now, and it looks like it could drive along the beach and cut through the sand. Explode. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, look at this. I'm walking around. Can I go over here? Oh, no, you've got to focus on the car. I wanted to go and, like, this house looks sick. I wanted to go explore that. Oh, look at that, good boot space. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's just close that boot. We've got to close that. Oh, oh, look, I'm in the back seat. This is what it's like to be a child if your parents are absolutely loaded. Still got my Eevee plates on there! Hooray! And discovered PR stunt. Let's do a PR stunt. Look at this car! Look at it! Oh man. That's definitely more built for the, the crazy Australian roads that we're being taken on. Wow! Yeah! Shortcuts! Landscaping! Did I get some fans for that? Kangaroo! I got a kangaroo bonus. You have arrived at your destination. And you've just destroyed the PR stunt before you've even started it. Hey, Claire. Hey. The Horizon Bucket List is where we get a bit existential. Bust through the if rainforest in an Earth, aerial nomad. Okay. 
Take the car so that's this little guy it. here. You're welcome. Oh, let's bust through the rainforest. Okay, so we've got a time target. Okay, we've got four minutes to, to get through there in what is basically a roll cage and some wheels. Woo! Oh! Crash landing, landscaping, awesome air. Kangaroo, yes! Okay, so I think king kangaroo means jump. It doesn't mean that you've, you've like got a little joey in your pouch or anything. Okay, so we are literally busting right through the rainforest. Like, this is full-on Steve Irwin territory now. This is pretty awesome. I thought there'd be a bit more wildlife. Gonna, gonna put it out there. I thought I'd be, like, dodging kangaroos. And there'd be, like, platypuses? Platy platypies? I'm not sure. But I thought they'd all be hanging around as well. And I'd be, like, dodging wallabies. And instead, I'm just tearing down the trees. Where are these drop bears at? I want to see the drop bears. <gasps> Fantastic. Bucket list events are great. Lucky. Like <laughs> and good for the soul too, I reckon. Oh, I totally ruined that stream with my driving. Like, got to the end and it's like... Oh. Fans. How many do we add? Hey. So we need 26,900 to expand our festival further. Oh guys, we've got a new driver to pick up. Let's see if we can find them. Find Arex! Hey! So, if you don't know Arex, he is a big Destiny YouTuber. And I've played some Division, I think, on my channel with him as well. We actually recorded loads of Destiny together ages ago, and then my files corrupted, and I could never use them. So this channel was almost a Destiny channel, and then it did not happen. Right, let's find him. He's around here somewhere. There he is! Erex, hey, what are you driving? Is that like a... Is that like a hippie one? He's running away from me. He's on the run. Erex, hey, come back! He's driving a Cadillac. I mean, I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to beat him in this. This is a Lamborghini 4x4 type thing. He doesn't stand a chance. Hey, hey, we kept on the track. We're getting better at this. No, dude. What, dude? What the hell? Where did he come from? Why are you here? What are you doing? I was just saying how much better my handbrake turn was. We got sorry, We got another one. No, 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 no. Yeah, if I can't get on the bridge, then you can't get on the bridge either. Nah, come on. He can't beat me in that big thing. Dude, dude. No. Yeah, there we go. On the straight, he doesn't stand a chance against this car. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, don't fall off the edge of the cliff. Oh no, no, no. Don't hit the parasols, there's probably people sunbathing. That's not what you want when you're sunbathing, is it? Oh look, these are the nice like beachfront apartments. Yeah, A-Rex. You have to like, drive around Horizon and like be my car person now. Ha. So we've got another race lined up and we have a little co-pilot. Baba, let's give you some room. Come sit next to me, you can be my co-pilot. You have to like shout out when there's a corner coming up and stuff, okay? Okay. Good boy. You can't eat the minstrel so it's down there. Oh man! Darcy! You're meant to help me! Why are you my co-pilot? Oh my gosh! Ali A is in the race! We've got to at least beat him. Although it's not looking so good right now. I'm trying to eat minstrels while I'm playing. So if you can hear crunching. It's minstrels. Ooh. Okay, we're in fifth position. Got two laps though. Oh my gosh! Ali got some sick air there. Look at his car as well. Has he got like... It looks like a Range Rover like bogey type thing. I'm not quite sure exactly which one it is though. The person in front... That's literally just ripped off my car exactly, like, dude, that's not how you play it. Have some originality. Oh, guys, we really don't have that much time to try and get into first position. We are landscaping. Oh, don't miss the checkpoint. Don't miss the checkpoint. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We only just stayed in that time. But we're in second place. We're in second place. Come on. Come on. I don't seem to be getting any closer to this guy. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh. I risked it on not breaking because I thought I might be able to get ahead of him. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Final corner. I think I had like a mini stroke. But I beat him. Yeah, you wanna 
again. Yeah, yeah. Really a team By like half a second. <sighs> Cannot be beaten. Cannot be beaten. Nearly was, but still. Getting pretty close to level three, which means we get to spin again. And we added some more fans for the race. Not that many more. I thought, it I thought you'd got more fans for that awesome like photo finish there, but evidently not. That's how roundabout was working this game. <laughs> you just drive straight over them, which I accidentally did in my first driving test. I was like so close to the end and I did all my maneuvers. Like I definitely had passed at that point. And I was, she was like, oh, he was like, just go um, straight up over the roundabout. And I literally just did that. <laughs> it was one of those little mini roundabouts. If you live in the UK, you get them everywhere. And I just drove straight over without even looking. And I was like, sorry. And yeah, failed my test, failed my test. It took me two tries to pass. I can't imagine why. <laughs> okay, another event guys in our Lamborghini Urus, Urus, Urus. The Apostles Beach Cross Country. Let's give this one a go. Why don't we ever get start at the front? That's what I want to know. Are we actually- oh, we're not at the back. We're like mid- mid table. Mid table. Fine. So this is a proper full-on cross country event again, which means we are straight off the road. There's Ali Pali again. Here's me about to beat him again. Again. Come on! Come on, Glenn! Race! Oh, look at him. He's still ahead of me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a really good cross country race. You're literally getting thrown around everywhere. And it's not a lap one, which is good. Because it means that every part of the race is new and exciting and shiny. And these guys are completely blocking me. What position are we in? We're in number four. Number one has pulled away again. It's like Mario Kart. If you were playing on um, extra mode or like the 150cc and you let like freaking like Luigi head out in front, he would just be lapping everybody. Like you can't give them the edge because they take advantage. They also had, is it, um, is it boomeranging or yo-yoing or, I can't remember the term, but if, <laughs> if you're miles ahead, you can't stay miles ahead because they just pull them all into the position behind you. <gasps> Look at that, personal best, 99,000 like a combo score for chaining together <gasps> stuff. Ooh, I thought they would have caught up on me there, but that little tree helps help straighten me out again. Oh my gosh! <gasps> what? What? No, no, that is too crazy. That is too crazy. We would have had whiplash for days if we'd have done that. No, please don't tell me we just missed a checkpoint. We did! I thought it was like Koopa Troopa Beach where you kind of like sneak and there's a little shortcut through the tunnel. I'm sorry guys, you know I don't like to use... Oh my gosh. I don't like to use rewinds but I literally have no choice there. But I've looped back around that I might as well have just slapped off my steering wheel because I would not have been completing the race. Boom! First place again. Ignoring that rewind. Ali came sick. Sorry, Ali. But look, Lamborghinis are clearly the fastest because they are right up there at the top. And then mine is at the very top. Driving past them all again, like, ah, yeah, you wish you was me. Ooh. Does that mean we've leveled up? Yes! We get to spin the wheel. Three, two, one, press. Press, 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 press. Oh, look, we nearly got an Audi S1. Instead, we got 100k. Just buying because we're gonna buy an awesome car at some point. Hopefully, a la 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 Lancer Evo. Hey, and we've unlocked another stage of the festival to be built because we've got enough fans, so we can expand our festival. I need your call on the second festival Ooh. site. I've marked Outback or Surfers Paradise. Surfers Paradise, skyscrapers, city streets, and tight urban racing. And apparently, the waves aren't bad either. Hmm. Or the Outback. Red sand, blue sky, perfect off-road terrain, and snakes that'll kill you if you even slow down for a second. Well, I don't want to get bitten by a snake, and the idea of surfing sounds pretty sweet. So it has to be here. Let's build Surfers Horizon Paradise. Surfers Paradise. I can set everything up and get the party started. 71% players also chose Surfers Paradise as their second festival. 
Obviously, because oh wow, this map is huge. Oh yeah, and before you set off, head back to the Byron Bay Festival. There's something special waiting for you in the auto show. <gasps> okay, let's see what that is. Let's quickly see what that is. And then we have to go discover this new location, right? I really want to see what this surprise is. I hope it's an awesome car. Oh my god, dude, stop. This is my festival, that's right. My car's hey, bigger. Banking <gasps> skill chains earns you skill points, Ooh. which can be used here in the skill shop. Ooh. The skill shop offers an array of upgrades and perks, Ooh. which can be activated with skill points. Ooh. This is the festival boss tab. These I can't do that many more moves. <laughs> upgrades and call in favors to improve your festival. That sounds pretty this cool. This is the skills tab. These perks make it. Oh, <gasps> listen. Could you hear her snoring then? I don't know if you can hear her, but she's so loud. Okay, all we can get for now is a drone. Anything you discover with the drone is added to your map. So even barn finds. Barn finds are cool cars and hidden locations. So we definitely want to get a little drone. Get that little dude flying around. Oh look, it's literally like Final Fantasy 12. That's how the skill trees worked in that as well. And we were all spent up at the skill shop. I hope that wasn't a surprise though. I want more surprises. <gasps> Collect loyalty cars. As a thank you for your performance in previous games. We've arranged to have some cars oh. delivered to your garage. This is because I've played the other games. That's so cool. <gasps> okay, so we get Honda NSXR. Nah. We get a Nissan Fair Lady Z. Nah. We get an Audi R8 V10 Plus, which is the slightly newer version of Ali's car. Or we get a Local Motors Rally Fighter. Okay, I'm gonna do something right now. I'm gonna pick the R8, but I'm gonna show Ali what car I just got in the race. I think it will make him quite jealous. Let's take a picture of the car. Stole your car. He's just seen it. Let's see what he says. What? <laughs> That's epic. That is a pretty epic. Let's give it a quick test drive before we go. The other reward cards will be added to your garage too. But I don't want them. <laughs> I only want the R8. <gasps> look at it. It's so pretty. I do think I prefer the look of Ali's old model though because I'm not, it's something about the front of the car. It's something about the front of the car which I just don't love. However, it is still a very, very pretty car. Obviously, I usually sit here, unfortunately. This is my little view here. Here we go. Okay, let's take it for a ride. Oh look. I've just locked myself in. Ali has just said, and I kind of agree with him. He hates those rims. There's a bit too much going on. There's too many spokes. It's a bit overly fancy. But since he will never let me drive it for real, let's see what it feels like driving Ali's car in game. I mean, it feels pretty awesome. Ooh. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I think Ali's right to never let me drive this in real life. Anyway guys, I'm gonna finish it here. I've unlocked Ali's car in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys like this car as well, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you want to see more from the series, let me know. I definitely want to play more because I really love this game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!